What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and I'm going to be playing a Regigigas Weezing team. Thank you to Aquamoth and the Pokesports Discord for posting this team. Regigigas is awesome. Uh, this combo first started back in Gen 8, and I loved playing it then with Regigigas using Max Strike next to Neutralizing Gas Weezing. Uh, it's a little weaker now, but it has Double Edge, so it still does pretty insane damage. Uh, we also have Cresselia on this team, which can skill swap away Slow Start and use Lunar Blessing to keep Regigigas healthy, so there is actually a backup plan in case Weezing goes down. Uh, and then this team also has a Swampert. It's a Clear Amulet Swampert, so if Weezing's not on the field, you won't get intimidated. And this is just a really cool set, just with three attacks, Liquidation, High Horsepower, and Terra Poison, Poison Jab, which can come in clutch a lot. Uh, it's rounded out by just an Iron Hands and a Fluttermane, just good Pokémon. Even though Iron Hands has fallen off a bit, it's still a good Pokémon. But anyway, let's see what we can do with this thing in some battles. Alright, oh they have a Regigigas too, let's go! Okay, Regigigas, Weezing, Metagross, Regilecki, Arcanine, the regular one, and Fluttermane. Okay, that's super cool. Uh, is there anything Regigigas is really scared of? Probably just... Maybe their own Weezing could burn something. Uh, we're max speed though, I think we just go Regigigas Weezing right away. The biggest threats to Weezing would be maybe if they have a Choice Specs Fluttermane, but then they would have to go with a Ghost move, which Regigigas would love. They could have Metagross with a Psychic move. We could bring Cresselia for that, but I don't want to bring all support. I think I want to bring Popeye the Swampert. And then who's last? Because that, that hits Metagross, that hits Weezing, that hits Regilecki. Uh, and then something that I guess is not vulnerable to burn, so I guess either bringing Cresselia would be fine, or just Fluttermane. I think just Fluttermane last is fine. Yeah, that should be fine. I mean, they just have- we just sending Regigigas and they have to do it too. Let's do it. Let's just throw Regigiguses at each other and see which one wins. Cool card. Did they do it? No, they're not doing it! Okay, but we're not getting intimidated. Alright. Oh, they have Ability Shield Intimidate. Okay, that's really cool. That's actually really, really cool. Good job. Um, in that case... How are we going to knock that thing out? Maybe I want to get Regigigas out. It would likely be a Will-O-Wisp. And probably an attack by Fluttermane. Maybe we can just protect and get a little bit of damage on that Arcanine first. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, Fluttermane leaves, that's cool. Into a Metagross. Okay. Red Gigas protects. And then now show me, like, Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, it's just Will-O-Wisp. Got it. I see exactly what you're trying to do here. Cool. And we get the poison. Good damage onto Arcanine and the poison. Very cool. Now, I don't think a Metagross would go for a heavy slam into a Regigigas. So I think Fluttermane is fairly safe to come in here. I would think. It's a little scary. But I think it's the right play. Bringing Fluttermane in there. I could just protect. I could Terrastalize. I want to burn that Metagross. How much speed do we have on this thing? Metagross usually has nine. Oh, oh, we're just a point faster if they're like neutral. Okay, now we're swapping you to Fluttermane, and we're just gonna protect. I don't want to burn Terra just yet. Though burning Terra to burn Metagross would be pretty cool. But they have a Fluttermane in the back, so I wouldn't want to lose my poison typing right away either. Oh, they Flare Blitz this time. Fluttermane eats it. Oof. 
Uh, they double into Flutter Mate slot. Okay. I see. Well, you know, that's not the worst. I can pretty easily take out Arcanine now with Regigigas. possibly go for a burn on that Metagross. Yeah, I'll just knock off the Arcanine. Now hopefully you're not like Choice Band or something. Is it worth using Terra yet? I don't think so. I hope this is the right play. <laughs> Okay, they, draw, they swap out Arcanine to their own Regigigas. Your Life Orb, okay, you're the same as me. And now they just Psychic Fangs into Regigigas. No need in using Terra. Alright. Now you have a Regigigas, but no wheezing of your own. That's pretty interesting. Uh, you could bring back in Arcanine and Intimidate. Weezing can't stop that. Anytime I want, I can just get rid of Weezing and weaken your Regigigas significantly. Is that something I feel like doing? I don't want Swampert to get burned at any point. It might just be... Go for a Drain Punch on the Regigigas. We're max speed anyway. And if they decide to swap something, our best bet would be to taunt that swap. Okay, it's just a protect. <clears throat> Pretty sure Regigigas didn't used to get protect. Oh! And you explode! That's really cool! And it doesn't knock out anybody, so I'm fine with it. That's super cool. <laughs> what was that? Alright. And the font goes into nothing. Whatever. Wow. I don't know what this guy's doing. Okay, you bring back in Arcanine. We can pretty easily protect both to get another toxic tick on your Arcanine. If I swap out Weezing... I mean, what are they going to do? Are they going to go for extreme speed on Regigigas here? I don't, I don't mind double protecting here. Oh! And we get to see Terra as well. Alright. Under Gigas. Which means you're not going for extreme speed then. We just we're just gonna play it slow, get the positioning. Okay, they go for high horsepower into our own retro gigas. Got it. And a Flare Blitz into Weezing. You know, you don't really want to knock out my Weezing. You know this, right? Alright, Regigigas takes 18 damage from Life Orb, so we can knock off their Regigigas if we want. But maybe I don't want to. I mean, can Weezing take a high horsepower? They don't have a Life Orb anymore. Also, knockoff might not knock them out. I think I'll throw a knockoff at Arcanine. Get that out of the way. And just go for the burn on Regigigas. Oh, they do have extreme speed. This whole time you had extreme speed. I don't really get that last play then. High horsepower. Okay, our wheezing is down due to a critical hit. But you're weakened. Can Swampert take us home? 
Is Arcanine gone? Arcanine is not quite gone. And we cannot risk a burn, so we should protect. The question is whether they read that and just swap in Fluttermane. That's okay, we can then protect whenever Arcanine comes back. Yep, they're just going for the burn. Got it. So we have to take a hit from a Fluttermane. Which we can do because we have Terra Poison. Oh, that's really good. I like Terra Poison here. Presumably they'd be like choice specs or something. Pick a fairy move, lock into it, and then be in big trouble. But we just have to pick which move to go for on their flutter main. Yeah, Terra Poison. Uh, our strongest move is high horsepower, but I don't want to risk a miss, so I'm going to go Liquidation. I don't think either of these is going to one-shot Fluttermane anyway. We could get the Poison with Poison Jab. Is that better than the Liquidation Defense Drop? I'm going to go with the Liquidation here. Alright. Either way, Regigigas is going to take a dub in this first one, so I'm happy to see that. Alright, get the Toxic Swamp. Yep, we just use Moonblast. That does a lot of damage. And Double Edge also does a lot of damage. Ooh, man. Ooh, one shot on Fluttermane. What? Where did that come from? Swampert, you're crazy! Okay, now they just have to, they have to get this knockout. They'll have to use high horsepower. I think they might get it. Oh, it'll be close. Oh, and they knock us out. Good game, Regigigas. Good game. Okay, now we're fighting a interesting team. They've got Fire Ogre Pond, Tyranitar, Indeedy Female, Pheasantipity. Uh, Iron Crown and Primarina. Now we can stop them from getting Psychic Terrain at all by leading Weezing. And we have Terra Dark, so Weezing's coming out right away. Uh, probably Regigigas. Yeah, I think Regigigas is good. I also think. Who else is good here? I want to say Cresselia is okay. It's our, on our only attack is Dazzling Gleam. That would let Weezing go down, and then we can still be sweeping with Regigigas. I don't know if I want to put all my eggs in the Regigigas basket. Uh, Popeye seems pretty cool here, except that they have one grass type. And Iron Hands doesn't seem bad either. They have a couple Psychics, a couple Fairies. Alright, I will bring Popeye, and this time I don't... I think it's Fluttermane. They've got a few answers to Fluttermane. I'm gonna try Cresselia. We're gonna see what Cresselia can do here. Alright, but I'm not too worried about Psy Spam. I'm not too worried about... They don't really have anything for Sand, they just have a Tyranitar. Is that a timeout? That's a weird four they, they're bringing if they timed out. That would be Ogre Pond Tyranitar lead. Ogre Pond is a little scary. Uh, I'm pretty sure they don't get the attack boost as long as Weezing's on the field, though. Uh, no. Pheasant is the Iron Crown. <laughs> and Booster Energy won't trigger anymore due to Weezing being on the field, so that's cool. Alright, I think I want to knock out. Iron Crown. I'm gonna go for a knockoff onto the Iron Crown. Do I want to just protect along with that? Because I don't mind burning Terra, but if I could do that later, that'd be even better. I'll just protect. 
Okay, they hard swap their pheasant dippity. And bring in Indeedy. Well, you're not gonna get the terrain, so that's fine. Maybe that means they're attacking Weezing. We were faster anyway, and so they don't have an iron crown. <laughs> okay. Bye. And they had a booster energy, but that doesn't work anymore. They fixed that. Goodbye. Maybe you were going to be faster than me, I don't know. And now they bring in Tyranitar. A Weezing had, what, 92 speed? That should be well faster than a Tyranitar. We can burn that after this knockoff knocks out a demon. Yeah, because I don't want to see Trick Room going up. I mean, we have Cresselia to reverse it. But, all right, they just follow me. Hopefully, Knockoff takes it. I think it'd be funny if they have a Psychic scene, too. Oh, no, they live. Okay, and it was Rocky Helmet. It would be funny if they had a Psychic scene, then we ought to knock off another item that we couldn't let them consume. But no, oh, the burn misses anyway. Okay. And, oh, they have Low Kick. Ow, bye, Regigigas. Yikes. Okay. Uh, still no Terra from them. I guess they didn't need to just to follow me. Sorry about that, I did not see Low Kick coming. Alright, we can go into Swampert and then burn the Tyranitar this time. No, can we? Who's faster? No, we seem faster. Yeah, so we can get a Sludge Bomb and then attack the Swampert. That'll work. Swampert the Gorgeous. Where'd you get that from? Alright. They have Pheasantipity in the back, so they have no switch into a ground move. What would Tyranitar's Terra most likely be? Uh, Liquidation should be a good mid-ground. I don't want to, like, use a ground move and then they are flying. So we'll just Sludge Bomb here and Liquidate. Now, I've seen Terra Fairy recently, but I'm not going to overcommit and do Poison Jab there. Alright, show me what you got. Regigigas punched a big hole, and now let's just clean it up. Yep, just to follow me. And no Terra. So we're just gonna get a full power liquidation. I hope you're not like weakness policy or something. Alright, and are we faster than No, we're not. There goes our amulet. Liquidation does. Eh, not as much as I was hoping. And then into Bezantin. Now they're not gonna knock off, knock out with another knock off. We could consider Terra Poison to avoid being poisoned. I'm not gonna want Terra Fairy on Cresselia. Well, maybe I just want to protect first and burn the Tyranitar. That's what I want to do. I've been trying to burn this Tyranitar all day. And it's faster than Swampert, so it's gonna get a hit off. I'd rather it be burned. Swampert, you look so silly. I love you. Alright. Swampert protects, so no Tyranitar protect. Uh, just an icy win. Alright, so they're gonna get an attack off even before Weezing, most likely. But no poison, because I'm already poisoned. And they go for low kick into Swampert. Alright. I don't know Swampert's weight. I am gonna trust you that that's strong. Alright, we connect the burn. I think we're in a really good position to get to that present. Now I want to Terra Poison so I can't get poisoned. And throw a... I think high horsepower into Pheasantipity. Along with bringing in Cresselia so I can heal up the Swampert next turn. They'll get Sand up. We'll take Sand Chip. I don't really mind that. Yeah, this is fine. I 
Yeah, I'm Terra Poison so that I can switch out and still not be poisoned by Toxic Pain. Now, Cresselia could be poisoned by Toxic Pain, but it can Lunar Blessing that off whenever. Two games now where I'm going Terra Poison. Oh, that's a good Terra. I like it. It's a dazzling game. Okay. And a low kick does nothing. And this does anybody? No, not quite. And you have a berry. Okay. Sand was gonna take you out in two turns, but. I'm just gonna continue to play this really slow. Maybe even set Trick Room. I think I'll heal first, then consider setting Trick Room. We got this in the bag, we just gotta be careful. Alright, show me your worst, which would be doubling Cresselia with knockoff and. I don't know. Whatever present dip he gives. And yep, just another icy win. I mean, fine, I could set trip room. Uh, they get the toxic chain. At the worst time to get it, you're not gonna get that tick. I don't think go for rock slide. Maybe they can get a flinch. That's not a bad strategy. That is their like only way out. Does no damage with a crit to Cresselia. And we get the healing off. Okay, you're gonna need a lot more flinches. You're gonna pull this out. In which case, it would be better to take out Tyranitar first. So that's what I'll do. They still have Terra. I guess they don't want to use it on Tyranitar because they'd be worried about going down to the sand and burn more quickly. I'll just set up Trick Room now if I'm allowed. We're going to keep Icy Winding, keep Rock Sliding. I just have to get one of these moves off and it's game over. And Rock Slide misses one of us anyway. It's Swamper. Oh, it misses both of us. Yeah, I'm sorry. You made the right play. I'm sorry. I'm sorry the game had to do that. I'm surprised this person's still playing. This has been an extremely one-sided match. And yet, they are still here. Okay. Good on you. More sand chip. You're almost gone to your own sandstorm. And we can close this one out. Take your time. Think this through. Do you really want to Icy Wind again? No. Goodbye. Good game. Alright, USB4, you've got... Oh! A Wo Chien! And a Glamora, Fluttermane, Landorus T, Incineroar, and Porygon 2. Lots of Intimidates. I'm gonna turn those off. It, I don't really care. I'm just going with Regigigas Weezing. I don't really care if it's the right play. I'm doing it. And that's that. Uh, sure, you got Landorus. Uh, maybe Cresselia is actually pretty good this time. In case they do want to play the slow game, Cresselia can heal up. They do seem to have a pretty slow team. And then, Swampert's been amazing. I might just bring it again. They have a Grass type this time, but... So? Do I want Iron Hands? Iron Hands isn't bad. But I don't... All of the last are great. I don't hate any of them. Let's see, what is Regigigas gonna have trouble with? They're gonna set Trick Room. Wait, Priscilla is reverse it. I guess Fluttermane is nice. Is the scariest thing they have. So I guess Swampert's pretty good against that. Everything else has a weakness to Fluttermane. I guess Iron Hands would've been fine too with its Assault Vest. I didn't want to bring another ground weakness, though, against that Landorus. Landorus can still hit hard. It doesn't matter. 
that it's Intimidate's turned off. They don't even have a trainer card. Why does nobody have a trainer card? Alright. They've got a fake out. Hello, Incin. Oh, you're a tiny one this time. Is it just me or does Incineroar have crazy size differences? I don't see much problem in just double protecting turn one. Like, what's Glamora gonna do? It has Meteor Beam to set up its special attack, but if you're just gonna waste that into a protect, that's ideal. I guess you could be, like, carrying Stealth Rock or something silly. Okay, it's just Earth Power. It wasn't even a fake out. And a knockoff into Regigigas. Okay. Now that we know what you want to do, let's figure out what I want to do. I could Terastalize Weezing to take an Earth Power. I don't think I can knock out Glamora super easily. I would probably have to Terastalize Weezing to take an Earth Power. I could bring in Cresselia and do a skill swap, but then I would get intimidated. I think I'll just Drain Punch. And I will. I will Terastalize. And follow up with a Sludge Bomb. Yeah, gonna have to Terastalize Weezing. Don't want Weezing to go down yet. I want to get as much out of Regigigas as possible, because this is me playing Regigigas. This isn't me trying to win, this is me trying to Regigigas. I hate the Dark Crown. I think it's stupid. It's just a little smirk. Like, it doesn't, it's not even a thing. I guess you could argue all of them are stupid, but this one I particularly don't like. Alright, Earth Power does... Oh, not as much as I was worried about. I guess maybe I would've been fine. Slip bump is a little bit, and they parting shot out. Okay. Got to minus one attack on Gigas anyway. Now show me who you got. Now that I'm dark on Weezing, I'm a little weak to Fluttermane. If you want to bring that in. Oh, uh, it's just Mochian. Alright. Well, I like that it's a Drain Punch target. I'd like to heal up whenever I can. Uh, I do have a minus attack. Maybe now I could bring in Cresselia. Get a skill swap going and then bring Regigigas back in for the skill swap. I don't know. How about knockoff? That way you can't use any sort of power herb. And then I'll sludge bomb the Wochian for some damage. Yeah, I like that. I also made it to the taunted Wochian. Oh, a crit! Oh, and you were just Sash the whole time? Okay. Well, you're not gonna get your toxic spikes there. You are gonna get poison on both of us. Okay, now there's a good reason to bring in Cresselia at some point. Even Weezing is poisoned now. Our Sludge Bomb into the Wochian does about a third. And we also get a poison. That's great. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Regigigas, you're swapping. I don't care. I don't care what else happens. You are swapping out. Most likely straight into Cresselia. And maybe I'll throw a Taunt as well with Weezing. I don't know if I want to swap both out right just now. Did I get my Citrus Berry yet? Oh, not quite yet. Okay. That's a lot of healing, too. Regigigas has a beefy HP stat. Alright, Cresselia, come on in. And then... I could finish off Lamora with a Sludge Bomb. I could go into Swampert. I could Taunt... I think Taunt Mochian is where I'm going with. That's where I'm leading. Weezing isn't as important, since we're bringing in Cresselia anyway. Our slow start later. And they just protect Mochian. Okay. Well, you're taking damage from that, too. 
Oh, and they do have stealth rock. That's weird. Alright, they're likely gonna want to go for a mortal spin. But since that'll be healed off pretty easily by Lunar Blessing. Man, why have we got such slow games? Alright, mortal spin. Heal it off with Lunar Blessing, not worried about that. We got our berry on Weezing now. Uh, we don't want to get Leech Seeded, so I'm just going to throw another taunt and go for the heal. Get this poison off of Weezing. And make sure that thing cannot Leech Seed anymore. Slow and steady. Then we'll try to bring in Regigigas and heal it up. Then we'll try to skill swap it. And just keep it healthy. It'll get intimidated again by Incineroar. Unless we bring Weezing in at just the right time. Um, they're Terrastalizing now. I'm not sure what for. Okay, it's just your Wochian. It's the water. Just the, okay, just not taking big sludge bomb damage. That's fine. I'm not gonna let you leech seed me. And they mortal spin and they're faster than Cresselia. That's actually good. I'd rather you be faster than Cresselia. Okay, get this taunt. And then what's Mochan's speed compared to Cresselia? They're faster, but they can't leech seed. We get rid of the poison. Now I could continue playing the slow game. I could now chip down the Wochian. I could even Dazzling Gleam and Sludge Bomb here if I wanted to. Oh, we also have Stealth Rock to contend with. I do think bringing in Regigigas and, and healing it up is pretty nice. But Cresselia is the slowest thing. They could get a hit off with their Glamora. <laughs> I think it's now or never. I think we're gonna try to heal the Regigigas right away. And battle is canceled. Okay, thank you. That was gonna be another 30 minutes. Okay, finally, that's not a stall team. That's a Pelipper, Archaladon, Fluttermane, Urshifu, Scizor, and the, what's that ice dragon thing called? All right. That's a more offensive team. I like that. Max Caliber, that's what he's called. We're not gonna let him set rain, so we're gonna bring Weezing. We're gonna bring Regigigas. They won't get rain, because they don't have like a Tornadus or something with set rain. And they seem like they want rain. Um, we can actually protect in front of Urshifu, which is cool if we bring that. So yeah, we're definitely bringing Weezing. Weezing's great here. They won't get their stamina boosts. Oh, I love it. And then, who is actually a threat? I can't really hit Scizor. Fluttermane's still a little scary. Vex Calibur might have a boost. Maybe this time I do want to bring Iron Hands. It's really good into Scizor. It's really good into Vex Calibur. It's really good into Archaladon. Yeah, it's finally the game for Iron Hands. And then, do I want Cresselia? Do I want Popeye? I think I, I really liked Cresselia in that last game. I'm gonna bring it. I don't think this is a game for Fluttermane. They've got two Steel types. I mean, Fluttermane might have been fine, but they have two Steel types, so I don't want to risk it. And Cresselia did great. So we'll give her another shot. See, there you go. There's a good trainer card. I like it. That's all you gotta do. Water Urshifu. Alright, we can protect Will-O-Wisp pretty easily. That's what I really want to do. Protect. Presumably they wouldn't be expecting that, because Weezing is weird. And burn their Urshifu. Locked into that real quick. Annoyingly, we don't get to see if they're... They quit? Did I quit? What happened? 
Alright, that last match gave me a 1, so it was their problem to, to disconnect. Maybe they turned their console off. Uh, so we're gonna do a game 5. We're fighting Indeedy Iron Crown again. Uh, they have Chen Pao Iron Hands, and they have Cresselia Torkoal. That's almost a 2-2-2 two, two, two situation. Alright, how are we gonna approach that? They're gonna want us at Trick Room. Or they'll just throw Chen Pao at us right away. Chen Pao Iron Hands wheezing will eat for breakfast with burns. So I like that. So we have to stop Trick Room. Which we can't entirely do. But we do have Cresselia to help reverse it. And then the big problem is gonna be Torkoal sweeping. Which they won't get Sun as long as we keep wheezing on the field. So it'll be a lot weaker. And then Popeye can help take those fire hits too, whether they get Sun or not. That's the way I see it. I think that's what we're going with. Uh, what's your speed, Iron Hands? Are you super slow? Wow, that is pretty slow. But that's not min speed. And you're never gonna catch a Torkoal anyway. So yeah, I think this is fine, these four. Swampert's really impressed me. Cresselia we know is good. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. And Cresselia gives the second option to get rid of Regigigas ability. Which I was going to pull off in that game, what, game three? No trainer card! Boo! Alright, what do you got? Iron hands. I tell you what. I'm gonna taunt your Indeedee. Or I'm gonna blow up your Indeedee. With double edge knock, knock it out. We know that a boosted knockoff doesn't, which is just shy of 200 power. Double edge is 120 with stab is 180. No, we can't blow up Indeedee. Alright, we'll protect and we'll taunt. If they fake out the wheezing, you got it right. That's fine. Oh, they just detect with their iron hands. I don't know if they have fake out. But that means we get the taunt, and nobody, nobody be playing Mental Herb and Didi. Yeah, and you can't follow me either. All right, you're about to take a hit. You're about to take a big hit. Maybe we double that slot. What's their double-edge swap in? Iron Crown? Oh, that would take Sludge Bomb, too. Yeah, you can't follow me. You can't protect anymore. I'm just gonna throw two attacks at you. Okay, and Didi swaps out. That's good, I was a little worried about a Psychic. Into Cresselia. So they're gonna try to get Trick Room up again. Oh, and they swap Iron Hands. Oh, maybe it is Crown then? I'd be happy to see Torkoal go down right here though. Yeah, it's Torkoal. Bye, Torkoal. Boom! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, Gigas, you did not need to crit there. We were fine. <laughs> Alright, you just feel like taking recoil, I guess. I get it. That's fine. <laughs> Sludge Bomb, barely any damage. But the poison! Weezing, you are so good at these poisons. I love it. Alright, now they can pretty easily get up Trick Room, I would think, right? Right? They'll get it now, right? Who is this? It's Iron Hands. Alright. They have Detect. I don't think they have Fake Out. But they probably do have... Maybe they would go for a fighting move here. I want to double into Cresselia and Terra Fairy just to make sure I don't go down to a Drain Punch. Hopefully that'll work. We are Terrastalizing, just in case you don't protect. And I don't think you have Fake Out. If you do have Fake Out anyway, then you'll get Trick Room. Because I'm not going to taunt you yourself. You're, you're probably... And they just protected. Great. That's what I wanted to see. Wasted my Terra, but it's worth it. Ooh, great damage. No healing because of the knock. It was Mental Herb. Okay. But if it was a berry, it would have got knocked off. And Sludge Bomb finishes you off. No Trick Room. None. And now we can taunt your Indeedee as well. Yeah. You're in a rough spot. 
Uh, did they preserve Terra so far? They did. I'm ready to just throw everything I have at the Iron Hands, honestly. But I need to taunt. I need to taunt the Indeedy. I do. I can't let them get a double protect and trick room. And battle's over. Thank you for giving me a fast one, Regigigas. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Alright, we're back here with the rental code. Regigigas and Weezing went off. Uh, sorry that some of those matches were a little bit slow, but at least there at the end we got a quick one. Uh, thank you so much again, Aquamoth, for posting this. This is a great Regigigas team. Uh, I looked long and hard for a good Regigigas team. This is the best one I found. I played it, and it plays beautifully. This is pretty much perfect for how this is supposed to go. Anyway, I hope y'all are having a good day. I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace! <laughs>